Hello, I am Mystic Orange and you're listening to you Talking the Shadows. This is video 186. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk about Ruby, Volume 7, um, Episode 6. Um, but mainly I'm going to talk about the Happy Hunters for today. Um, yeah, um, they were introduced last episode, but like I wanted to talk about it here um um i find the happy hunters really boring like i'm same way how i feel about aesops um i really don't care for these happy hunters um i think the characters are added to, to ruby but we don't get enough like fleshing out these characters um yeah that's how my thought for these like um like background characters that I just added on like um first we have Robin who's like um kind of boring like and kind of annoying as well like she kind of butts in her problems with other people I think they're supposed to be like protectors of mantle or something but we don't get enough about them you know um I think they're like stealing things from um you know Atlas but uh, we don't get enough of that. Um, I think um, Robin has this thing where she can like detect pe people if she's lying. Um, I don't think I like how she her power goes. Like she has to touch people to know if they're telling a lie or not. I think um, it could have been a little bit more interesting if she like. Could send you know how like people have like uh, infrared goggles to tell if someone's lying or not. She couldn't have had that instead. I think that would be a better a way of you know telling if someone is lying or not. Like you don't have to touch people to tell if people are lying on you know. Um, yeah. Then there's May, um, which um, um, I'm glad that they added trans um character in this uh, show um but i don't think there's uh, enough go going beyond that um i think there's supposed to be a rivalry with her and Weiss, being that she's from like a poor um apparently is she's from the poor district and you know like Weiss is from rich um i don't think there's anything else apparently she's related to that guy from uh, her you know, in volume four, like uh, Henry, I think. Um, but I think again, she's she's not interesting uh, either. I mean, she has cool invisibility powers, but like, I'm still not invested in these character like her and Robin. Um, you know, uh, I think there could have be been a bit more to these than just like. Oh, I'm trans and I'm from Mantle and I'm, I have a brother. But there needs to be more. Than, I feel like um, we're busy thinking about the situation in Volume Seven. Like, I, I think I care more about the Aesop than I care about the Happy Hunters. Cause I feel like they're just slapped on. Like, um, we don't get introduced to them earlier, and you know, they feel uh, I don't know. Then there's um, Fiona, who's supposed to be the GOAT girl. Um, I think sh she's overrated. Um, I think, I mean, if you like her, that's fine. But I think, um, yeah, I don't f have enough, um, you know, attachment towards her as many other people do. Um, and also, I'm going to say it, but I know this is kind of like, um, you know, dumb reason to not like her but i she kind of reminds me of two characters that i don't like um first off uh, she reminds me of that zootopia lady um do you remember her um where she's like um a twist villain like you know she was a villain but not now she is a villain um she reminds me of her and i really don't did not like that character at all she, she was so annoying but even worse, she reminds me of 
a, a My Little Pony character named Cozy Glow. Um, she is insufferable, insufferable. I can't stand her. Um, so that's what she reminds me of. Um, so I was worried if she was going to be one of those twist villains like, um, and super annoying. I mean, she's alright in the show. I'm glad she's not a twist villain. But, you know, um, it, it just, yeah. And I think she has a cool power as well. She can, uh, like, she has a pocket dimension thing. So, I don't know. Uh, she kind of does what Stella does in Miss Globe, like, with her clothes, like, vanishing things. I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, that's what she has. Then we have another character, Joanna, who's, like, the tall girl. She basically has nothing going for her. Like, I, I, I forgot she was one of the characters existed. Like, she doesn't even have a semblance either. Like, um, yeah. I think these characters were added, but, like, there's nothing in... Uh, I'm busy thinking about other things, not these guys, uh, in Volume 7. Uh, like, as great as Volume 7 is, you know... There weren't much fleshing out. Um, and they have like the like dullest colors uh, on them. Like I, I complained about the ASOS being like, like only um, like all the same colors. But at least uh, they were like fun colors. These guys like have like the drabest uh, color scheme. Um, I think it's it's too like muted. Where everyone else has like colors pop, um, yeah. I think um, I think May has like at least the best of the colors, but I think it's still like like too muted um, for the color schemes. At least that's how I feel about them. Um, yeah, uh, that's my thought for the Happy Huntresses. Um, I don't really care for them. I mean, I I mean if you like them, that's good for you. Um, but I I think um, we could have done more than what we got. You know. Um. So yeah. Um, I hope you see my next videos next time. Um, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.